See, now, you're you're gaslighting. Really now, you're, you now you're you're gaslighting. The, you now wrote you're the storyline that my sister died. It's probably what it yeah. was. So yeah, yeah she Wait, knew the whole time sister? and didn't say anything to you. <laughs> it's it. You will sister. not take. <laughs> you will not take her from me. <laughs> you have taken her from me. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I really should have had a whole fucking Anakin moment with that one <laughs> weird priest. Shit, guy. I didn't realize he joined. What the fuck? <laughs> My favorite part was the fact that like Jeff had like a, t a tender moment and died in his arms, and then Grim, you go running over right after, and you're like, "I'm gonna talk to her," and <laughs> Druid's like, "No." but what if i do this no but what uh, what about if i like you know can i write can i res her first a second no she's dead like well now sorry, my new mission, you missed your chance now my new mission is to find a way to bring her back <laughs> Good luck with that. it's the only thing that matters in this game it's the only thing that matters it game really game. is honestly like, um, I don't even I don't, care about. I don't the main really care story. about yeah the other quests or any of the hard work that Druid's planned. I was the saying, damn! Quest. I really just put some hard work into some other stuff you guys can yeah. do too. But well, that's maybe okay. maybe you should have flushed out Jill's storyline a little bit better. <laughs> damn! Okay. Maybe you should have flushed out, to flesh out Jill, Maybe you, you shouldn't have banked all oh, your yeah. ships on one character. <laughs> What's that? Well, now oh. I have the uh, the captain there, lady that I'm gonna. Are there other are there other romantic? You don't even know her name. I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. Are there are there other romantic uh, options what the within fuck this playthrough? <laughs> yeah, no, but fortunately, if you mess up that first romance option, and nobody else will get with you, so you kind of wow, ruin it for the playthrough. Crazy. That's crazy. You messed up, Grim. At least I still have no, a shot. That's not the only <laughs> option you had at the beginning. At least that's I not, at least true. I still have a shot. That's not Grim, true. Grim's locked out. That sucks. Yeah, Grim's That's locked out true. of romance for the rest of the playthrough, unfortunately. Yeah. But me, oh, but oh, me, okay. it's my turn. It's my turn to find love. <laughs> on this, on this love. season of D&D &D, The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's my turn. Uh, I'm not so sure about the necromancer girl. She's cute, but she's crazy. Do we have a Do we have a picture of necromancer girl? Krillion? Oh, we're about to get oh. <laughs> Krillion. Krillion. Yes. Put it in. Put it in the I, chat. And I understand if you have to make it uh, not safe for work. I understand. <laughs> like, you know, sometimes that's just yeah. how the AI yeah. runs. Necromancer you know? girl with huge boobs. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> Oh, oh how'd that get in there? How'd that, how'd, that, how'd, that, how'd that get in the search parameters? That's crazy. That's crazy. You know how these AI works. They just have a mind of their own. First off, here's your romance options. Oh god. Oh, are oh these god. Like let me let me get the necromancer. Oh god. Oh, oh. Bottom oh, left. Damn, who is that? <laughs> What's up with the horse? Bottom, bottom middle. Horse. Bottom middle for me. That's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like, what? Why is there a horse? Who's <laughs> the guy in the top corner? Can you can you can you run more iterations at bottom middle just for <laughs> research purposes? <laughs> <laughs> just, just curious. Uh, <laughs> long mane stallion, not suitable for work. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I'm crying over here. Oh my god! Mm. Oh. Hmm. Amaranth? Okay. Uh, go ahead. Serena's going to read my list for me. Or at least some of it. The name is Amaranth. Okay. Hear ye, hear ye. So there's two for Amaranth. Um, so for thinning, it's reverted to one level of exhaustion to use. 
and enhanced ninjutsu for other subclass. That's all for you. Uh, Huma and uh, Elwind. Okay, for Huma and Elwind. Yeah, boy. Um, up- yes. Update semi prime to state it consumes 10 curse points. Jiminy. Now you can stop complaining that it doesn't say that. Okay. Um. The end. It says it already says it costs 10. That's the well, update. Before it said accumulates, and you oh. gave me shit for it, so I changed it oh, to okay. say consume. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. Okay. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank you for the thing. update. The game is yeah. now playable. The game's now yeah, playable. Yeah, it's playable. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I got a pre order the DLC again. I love, I love that there's patch notes. That's, that's <laughs> the patch notes are kind of awesome. Yeah, I'll have it's some like patch notes every so often. It's yeah, like, the, the, it's like the, the twab. You know. Shout what I mean? out to, exactly. to Serena for the for the new twab. Yeah, Serena's gonna be my twab <laughs> every week. But yeah. it's just a destiny thing. It's like updates. Um. It's um, like community, like the check in with the community. So uh, be like, this hey, this yeah. is, yeah, Gucci. this is what we're doing. Like this so is what's happening this week, basically. Yeah, the A's on. This week. Yeah. It's the twid. This week in D and D. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Serena is a community manager now. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Serena's a community yeah. manager. <laughs> can um, I? Can I? Yeah. At you on Twitter if I have questions, Serena. No, you can't. I, okay. Yeah. No questions or comments. You just have right, to accept it. You? Okay. <laughs> just accept I just, it. Well, no, just like, <laughs> hey, what if we're like, we want to just accept it. I, <laughs> you know, what if I want to be like, hey, I, hey, shout out to, you know, so and so for the, the, the updates. Okay. Nope. Hey. Yeah, there's what a couple other things. But, um, huh? What'd she say about enhanced ninjutsu? Um, so it's I finally figured out what it was actually like how you use it. It's for a different subclass. <sighs> okay, cool. Yeah, so you can't use it. <laughs> All these updates are like, bad. Roll it back. Roll back the drivers. <laughs> that's, that was just <laughs> how it was. I just had to find it. Well, now one level of exhaustion per thinning? Yeah. What does is, what is a level of exhaustion do exactly? Fuck me I up. will tell you. Um, One level of exhaustion gives you disadvantage on ability checks. Oh! That's not good. Yeah, so if I go invisible, I get disadvantage on my stealth rolls. Yep. Which makes my invisibility worthless. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're invisible though. Like, like, how are they? How are they gonna? How are they gonna detect you? Steps in the dust, noise, all that kind of shit. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I thought I was getting out for Dungeons and Dragons, but yeah, yeah I guess we just oh. got out for patch notes today. That's. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's just a patch note. Sorry, guys. The servers are down. Boo. The servers are down. The servers are down. Sorry, guys. Down, boo. The update kind of broke the server, so we're going to have to... I keep getting weaseled. I keep getting weaseled. Roll it back. Oh, wait. No, error code pizza. Error code pizza. Error code pizza. Error code pizza. Yeah. Sorry. Guys, error code... We'll we'll have to try to fix that. Error code... Okay, okay. Uh, what so, well, we'll get to that in a second. We're going over the patch notes. The game is updated today. Oh. Um, so, the bad first thing. Don't listen in. No, well, we're not going to go over your guys' things because it's already done. Um, first thing, uh, if you guys look at your spellcasting um, like menu, you'll notice that you actually have like at the top your all your spellcasting stats now. Um mm. I figured out how to actually get you guys' stats on there, so you can see your spell attack and all that, and everything should be properly um, working with your spellcasting modifiers. Oh my god, have so, I been missing because I haven't been having seven? <laughs> I think yours slightly were slightly different. Um, I think it was like maybe like a two difference. 
But, okay. yeah, so everything should be... Um... Better. Should be good I, I, now. It should all be based... This on man has a <laughs> Um, so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is I'm sort of changing how healing potions work-ish. Not really. I'm more adding, like, an additional thing. You want to read it? Okay, go for it. I'm doing the healing potion right now. So there's a healing surge edition? Nope, nope. Before that. That's instead of doing healing potion. Well, I don't know. It's different. Okay. I Healing postage usage change. So it's bonus action, roll healing, and the action is max healing. Does that make sense, oh, everybody? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Okay. So you can use your whole action to take yeah, the max. Yeah, if you want to use your whole action to drink a healing potion, you, you can take the full, like, max healing. Um, or you can just do it the same way we've been doing, where you use a bonus action, and then you get the, um, the normal you roll for it. That's a good change. I like that. I like that a lot, yes. And then the other thing that I'm adding is, is an optional feature that I found called Healing Surge. Um, Healing Surge allows you to, as an action, you can use up to half of your hit dice um, and heal yourself. Uh, you add your constitution modifier for each die you roll. Um... And you cannot use healing cures again until you finish a short or long rest. That sounds okay. like a fancy second wind. I love it. Yeah, but it's like a full. So you take you take your action. You roll up to half your hit dice. Um, for each hit dice you roll, you also add your Constitution modifier, and then you heal that amount. And then you can't do that. You get that once per short or long rest. Once cool. per rest. Cool. Yeah, Everybody sure. follow? Make sense? Yep. Yep. Cool. Now we can get to the recap because DJ wasn't here. Yeah. And you died. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, no. Um <laughs> you guys. Uh he was oh yeah, so you finished the fight with uh Jill. Um you you confronted the high priest of the Iron Kingdom and killed him. Um, f attempted to long rest uh, and ended up having to fight some more soldiers that came through. Did some more exploring of the caves. Um, uh, Quandale had another scary vision. It said ass or something. Uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, I remember there being a lot of ass. Guys finally made your way out of the caves and are on your way back. And that's where we left off as you've exited the tunnels to the safe spire. It didn't sound as crazy you. as everyone made it to seem. Uh, well, Kwande also failed to get a long rest like every opportunity he had, so he like never got to take a long rest. Which is pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. There's a lot of combat because they were just running around the caves, like looking for loot. They got some money, but not much else. <laughs> so it's all on you guys now playing the game. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I'd, uh, like, I'd like to take another long rest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we get to with the ship first? Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we get the hell out of here? Okay, so we're getting the fuck out of here? Yeah. Yes. Getting all the right. fuck out? Back to the ship. See if they're there waiting for me. Oh. There we go. Um, I assume you guys are gonna go around the wall to avoid the ether flood that's in the town currently. I would like to, because I avoided that last time. <laughs> you guys wanna <laughs> run through it. I mean you're more than welcome to, but I would like to avoid the ether flood, yes. I would like to not die. Yeah. Assuming everybody is going to go around the wall. Yeah, also, they'll, they'll send like a small like dinghy or whatever to come pick you guys up. Once they see you emerge and go on to shore. The captain will turn to you guys and be like, well, wow, that took you guys long enough. We're ready, about ready to leave you. 
Well, I'm glad you didn't. Because, oh boy. Does that hope you got what you were looking for, I guess? Not, they never really told me why you were coming, but they paid me well, so... The captain is saying, well, assuming you guys are ready to head back, we can start making our way back uh, to long, uh, the how Phoenix long of a Cradle. Will it be? Um, no more than like half a day, probably. I mean, you guys okay. have seen the world now. You can look oh. at it whenever you want now. Is, so, it, is it mine? Like, you mind if while we're traveling, we take a short rest? <laughs> you know what? You can take a long rest on the travel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hell let's yeah. Go. Let's go. Oh, now everybody can stop complaining about fucking long rest. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. You got rum. Everybody can take off. a long rest. I stare off Nothing eventful is going to happen on the boat unless you guys <laughs> yeah. really want to do anything. Uh, like I said, it's about 12 hours, half a day. We'll just have like a little <laughs> cut scene where like, Graham, what were you saying? You're staring off into the, the distance. Staring, yeah, I'm staring off into the sea thinking about Jill. Yeah, I'm sitting there sharpening my sword because, like, you know, even though we are alive, it didn't doesn't feel like we're victorious, you know. Not at all. Right, of course. So practice with my fencing with my new sister's ice sword. Yeah, I'll new... train. I'll yeah. train with you, Ellen. Uh, well, I was gonna say, Ellen, if you want, the, um, the the first mate will offer to train with you. <gasps> yes. Oh. Let's go. Nice. She is clearly adept in rapier combat, so she Whoa. will offer Whoa. her to Whoa. Whoa. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Let's hmm? go. Okay. I like the sound yeah. of that. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean by that. Creelon's character is just hanging upside down from the crow's nest. Like in the shadows of the... <laughs> yeah, you know, the... Big spider kind of has gotta be. <laughs> So we can't see him. Yeah, so you, like, you, know, you guys all do your own thing. Nothing eventful happens. It's a pretty oh, short yeah. journey. Um, and you guys arrive back at the Phoenix's Cradle. The tavern oh. that you made it from before. What would you guys like to do? Uh, visit the brothel. I would right, like to visit the just the tavern. I would like to just get, as soon as we got to get off the boat. I'm assuming at this point I've kind of figured out their bearers. <laughs> I no I feel like good. that's a just thing. Yeah, no, I mean, I, at this point, <laughs> you don't know that. Like, they've you been shooting magic, that. and you haven't seen crystals, so that's, you that's don't probably know a good that. assumption. I, so as soon as we get off the boat, I'd like to stop and just be like, okay, I know you're all right. bears. I'd right. like to punch him in the face. <laughs> before <laughs> that, I'd like before, to whoa, whoa, easy. Real nice that he waited till he got off the boat. That's all I'm saying. Oh boy. Is he actually gonna try and hit me? One person oh, at a time. No, 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 no. Wait, wait up, Quando. We let's not go there yet. We'll save that. Yeah. We'll save that. Uh, <laughs> not go there now, yet. if you're all done threatening me, I was gonna say, I've never actually had many actual interactions with bears, as for the most part, they were just servants in my household. You all seem to be fine people. I have no qualms with that. If you would allow, I would like to continue journeying with you until eventually I do get back to uh, Sembrek. No, yeah, seems legit. No, he, he didn't. I, he didn't I'd want like to, me to. You're a lot cooler slaves, than our last, our cool. last companion. Yeah. Right, our last companion was a fucking dick. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, he he just like left out He's of a nowhere. Selfish prick. A selfish prick. Yeah. prick. You know. Fucking nobody like, liked him anyways. The, no, I'm just the, kidding. No more, uh, uh, Dragoon would be nicer yeah. than Darren. Yeah, yeah, you're a pretty cool guy. I'd like to I ask. Say. I'd I'd like, like I like to reach my hand out. I reach my hand out, and you know, uh, for like a shake. handshake. Yeah, I'll go to shake his hand. But I like, but I clasp it at the elbow. I look at you. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. You know, I'd like to uh, <laughs> give it a little so, flex. <laughs> I would like, like in, to ask in, him in, in my culture it is custom that. Hey, we Grim's trying to ask me a question. Give him a second. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a sister? Oh, um, boy. <laughs> DM, do I have a sister? DM, DM, do I have a sister? I'll let you decide. You let me decide? No, you don't. Okay, yeah. no, I do not. <laughs> uh, is your mom? Yeah, that's crazy. We had no clue that would have been the answer. Swandale, you can't yeah. just be asking people about their siblings uh, trying to hit on you. I say, I say. Uh, <laughs> 
I say during in my in my culture it is custom that as we clasp arms we also kiss as a sign of brotherhood. Uh, I would rather not. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to be wow. rude to your culture. You it's disrespect me in my culture. I don't mean to be <laughs> rude to your culture. Get him out of here. But I'd rather no, get him out of here. <laughs> we were yeah. just talking about how cool from, like, meet you seem. Okay. From meet the Spartans, that was a little yeah. funny. Uh, Ellen, you you were saying you wanted to do something, right? Uh, I just wanted to thank Adela Ross, the first mate, uh, for for sparring with me. So nothing too crazy. So yeah, she'll say you're welcome. Uh, she says you're gonna be a fine uh, swordsman one day. Just keep practicing. Maybe come back and see me sometime. We'll test your skills. Yes, I will. I will do that. What's the name of the ship cool. again? Just so I can like keep that in mind. It is the Black Sparrow. Black Sparrow. No, not in no reference to Jack Sparrow from the kid, no, no. Captain Little Black Sparrow. Where we even got that idea from? Nothing, nothing. I don't know. Right. I don't know, man. So I assume you guys go back to the tavern, or are you just gonna stay on the boat? Try me to use you, I guess. Uh, I would assume. I, 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 wanna, do I wanna go to the tavern. I don't think I can buy a drink. I don't think I have any. I can get you a drink. <laughs> Beer, I'll take a, a pint of a, a pint of ale shall do just fine. I guess uh, do they sell like those like big old jugs where like you can like just fill up your cups as you drink? I mean, sure. Why not? Yeah, I'll just get I'll get one of those for the table when we get there. Great. Um, let's see. I guess Ellen is the only one moving, so I'm gonna say Ellen's the first one to the counter. Um, Yay. Ellen, when you get to the counter, uh, the barkeep uh, looks up at you and he's like, Oh, I remember you. Uh, I I got a stolas for you. Uh, wrote down the message and he hands you like a rolled up piece of paper. Oh my gosh, we have letters? What? Hey, yo, oh. we got mail? <laughs> yeah, we got, got mail. mail. Alright, well. Fan well, mail? They, we got fan mail. From, we just got a letter. letter. We just it, got a letter. From, I think it is. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. I think I know uh, who it's from. It's probably it's from. Good. No, it can't be from Jill. Jill's dead. But like, it, like <laughs> she delivered it. If you're <laughs> reading this, I'm she already dead. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, thanks. On, thanks for, for the trauma. Thanks for just that, right by back the way. at it. <laughs> uh, so I'll wait for everyone to come by before I open it. So I'd like so, yeah. to meet up. If you want to, you know, move I'm yourself. in the bar. Oh, he's talking about Jill. Oh. Oh. I, I forgot the bar, and I was just zoomed in on the boat. I forgot the bar is, like, actually attached to this map. <laughs> it is attached to the map. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot this map was a map. <laughs> forgot the map was mapping. I forgot the map was mapping. When the map maps. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> I just got this letter. I don't know who it's from, but I think we should open it right now. I would like to right duck there. behind the bar before he opens it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking anthrax. Anthrax. Like, <laughs> 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 you, you, you fucking never know, okay? I love you, Drew, uh, but you know, I know, I know sometimes right. we piss you off a lot. So. <laughs> okay. I'll fuck I fucking pipe it, honestly. So. <laughs> All right, I open yeah, up the it's letter. It's a pipe bomb. <laughs> All right, so you open up the letter. Um, it's it's not really addressed to any of you in particular. Um, you assume that they probably got a description of some of you guys just to know who they give it to. Um, but it basically um, it's from Sid from the Hideaway, um, and it basically says. Uh, that he has some updates he wants to talk to you guys about regarding his missions and um, where you guys stand currently and requests your presence back at the hideaway at your earliest convenience. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that's cool. Um, who is who is Sid? Sid is the... Oh, oh yeah, you, yeah, don't, know you, don't, you don't know who Sid is. Yeah, uh, yeah, so Sid is, Sid is our, 
Uh, he's a friend. Yeah, he's he's a real homie, kind of like us. Um, okay. Uh, he's uh, y you'll meet him, and and he'll be better at explaining <laughs> who it is and what he does, um, better than what I will be able to. But uh, but he's cool. How are they gonna dump it on, okay. on me? <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, fine. I yeah. get it. <laughs> I don't want to. Um, I don't want to like explain it in a bad way to like no, I, I get the it. official it's here. <laughs> so, so um, rather than 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 out him. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Um, Jira, also, as you get to the counter, the bar the barkeep also looks at you and is like, "Ah, oh, the dragoon's back finally. I've got. I haven't had this message for a little bit for you," and hands you an, a letter as well. Oh shit! <gasps> All right. Um, I'll open it. I have no secrets to hide. Great. Uh, do you, how do you say the name that you gave me, by the way? Oh, Dragon. Dragon. Okay, sorry. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't remember how you said to say it. <laughs> um, so, it's it's from Dragon. It's like his seal. You recognize Dragon's seal. Um, right. Your Dragoon mentor from Sam Breck. Mm. Um, and it says, um, uh, Jira, um, hope your mission is going well. Um, things are starting to change here in Sembrek. I would advise staying away for the time being. Um, lots mm. of changes happening. Not sure what's going on. I'll keep you updated. Oh, shit. Uh, and he makes sure to note at the end, uh, do not send return Stolas. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... That's unlike him. Uh, okay. The homie's a criminal. The homie's a criminal. He's the one of the head dragoons. I I doubt he's in any no, trouble, you, especially if he criminal. was managed to send a Solus. You're the criminal. Don't come back. I've done nothing wrong. I've only followed orders, which is what's confusing me. He said things are changing, but how or why, I can't understand. At least not from his letter. We can kill them too. Right. I feel like I should go and check on him, but he says not to. Well, if what he says all not to, meant? who are we to to to? to yeah, I don't even know that guy. Like, I'll go check on him. I don't mind. I feel like we should. I mean, there's no. I have a distinct feeling like something's wrong, and if I don't go, I will regret not going. Mm, okay. No, yeah, sure. Fuck it. You guys don't have to come with me. We don't have to come. I mean, are we, we doing come. this again? But what? What if we do come? <laughs> we I do? mean, I won't stop you. I mean, you've all you won't stop me from coming. <laughs> what if all, we're going I, a different way? How would all, you feel about that? I, Did you come? What if we all decided to go a different? way? Then I mean, would, I would you join us? You. Yes. I okay, mean, cool. I, this letter specifically says not to go, but I'm debating going just because. Well, I'm, just asking, like, I'm, I'm just important. asking. I mean, I um, would most likely yeah. trust him, but like, it's just it feels wrong to not go when the city needs help. Well, he never said anything was wrong in the city. He just said things were changing. That's true. I guess. Yeah, I, I trust him. I he never I... really indicated that there. Were, I mean, besides the fact he said not to come back right now. Uh huh. Like the the only thing he said was that things were changing. It could be some like you know it could be anything. You don't know. That's why he sent the stolas. He might That's just be right. updating you on city stuff that maybe you don't want to be back for like big political shit that's happening. Uh, that's true. Or yeah, they're restructuring just... roads and there's a lot of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean you know your mentor, so like yeah. no, no, yeah, that was he, my only he's... thing. It's like, would you really like have a reason to not trust? Him no, when he says I, I would have to... a re no, that's that's fair. Yeah, I'd probably just be like, uh, okay, guess I'm not going home anytime soon. So now I really am traveling with you guys. Yay! I mean, if you'll have me, that is. I would assume the silence means I can come along. I was gonna say the crowd falls silent. Yeah, we'll take you. I'll, I'll, we'll we'll let you tag along. I guess. Oh, yeah, you can come with. Cool. Hey, you're not a healer, but I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, be like, Let's give you guys more two DPS. additional ways to heal yourself. 
He did, he did just give us two ways to heal ourselves. I gave you yeah, healing surge notes. and bonus healing potion. <laughs> yeah. We probably should buy some healing potions. It's probably a good. Do I have any money? Let me see how much money I have. You guys yeah. scoured that entire fucking dungeon for money. We do. Yeah, we yeah. don't have at least we some. Yeah, we should most likely pull our resources. Some. Yeah, the I do have. I do have some money. Yeah, we can pool our resources. We may be able to buy some more potions and such for our journey. Yeah, that's true. I have, sure. Would I, I know? Have, my, have I been in this town for a while, uh, Druid or Nolan? Do you think like I uh, would like know like the local? I mean, you've probably here, been here like, for like at least like a week or so. So I would know like the local apothecary and be like, yeah, we can like go there. And get... Yeah, um, you would also. I mean, everybody else would know that Lady Karen back at the hideaway would also sell you potions. Oh, that's fair. And the, and we are we did ask to be asked to go there, so I mean that would make sense. Yeah, like everybody would like she carries a lot of stuff, so. You could probably uh, get uh, for the right price at least <laughs> okay cool all right yeah. and I will, she's kind of like your, your judgment. it's like a wall but i will refer to the group's judgment as Basically. i am just yeah. tagging along consider it an extended vacation um yeah i say uh, i say we a i want a beer first and then we can be, go get potions so that way we can see go back to the hide out to or we could also go to it. the hideout and get the potions yeah I guess there's stuff at the hideout thing okay but I want a beer first beer first my sister died I'm gonna buy him beer. A, but beer. I want to buy him yeah. the biggest beer they have I'll grab a beer because my girlfriend died yeah I'll grab a beer because yeah, okay. my my friend's girlfriend died Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Beer. So really big beer. <laughs> I, do, I I don't get a big beer. I don't get a beer. Big old beer. Okay. My big uh, old beer. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there anyone in town that will sell me scissor fangs or dragon claws? What? It's Final what? Fantasy Nine weapons. They're Final Fantasy Nine weapons. Does this look like Final Fantasy Nine to you? No. Well, yeah. my character's Amaranth from Final Fantasy IX, so have you? <laughs> well, so on you, I never played Final Fantasy IX, so... I don't I'm know that my is. fault. How <laughs> <laughs> is that my fault? <laughs> that yeah. my fault? You, you guys have a nice, tender drink uh, toasting to Jill. <laughs> to Jill. To Jill. I not to, Jill. Jill. To, the, to the woman Jill I literally die. met like a day ago. <laughs> Jill had to die. I'm not toasting her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks. She, yeah, died. She's, yeah. she died. She sucked. Not toasting her. To the level I don't know of my she life. did suck. Okay. Jill. All right. Let's. Like, let's I, just, get... I just don't know anything about her. So, like, she she could have been really cool. The person. way she got stabbed, she, she probably was really terrible. I was literally okay. hours away from knowing if she sucked or not. But... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's, She's dead. A <laughs> <out of conversation. laughs> She's dead, Quandale. I'm good. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> We're all like seeing and talking and just like start making jokes. Is there is there like a bar? I think I think we've had our time at the bar, so I think we should head back. Yeah, let's let's go adventuring. Back to the story. No more dun, side dun, 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 dun. Okay. Side quest over. Into the world New map mission right? beginning. Yeah, do we level up? Uh, <laughs> nope, you don't. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. It'll probably be because you guys are around here now. So we'll say we it's like a four-day journey back. So, so let's see. Um, a long rest in between, for sure. Uh, rest, you literally well, don't need one, really unless we have a random encounter on the let's first day. Everybody, everybody, but who? Everybody, but Jira. Roll D twenty, please. 
Oh god. A D20. Oh, oh boy. Oh jeez, Rick. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh no. Oh wee. I don't know anything to do with dexterity because I rolled high. So. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Elwin, re-roll the D20. Okay. And then oh, Quandale, I, I don't know what's Jesus happening. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like Quandale, you also have to roll these points. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you want me to re-roll? Is that what you said? No, let I want to re-roll again. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'll just be a nine though. Oh, that's worse. Okay. All right, All right, All right that's worse. <laughs> Not necessarily worse. It just. Alright, so we got 18, 9, 8, and 3. What do we got? Um, so, first day, it's fine, nothing happens. You guys have a relatively easy journey. Um, um, the second day, so as you guys come to this crossroads, um, you would notice uh, that there are... Is a very obvious um, ether flood that's happening in this area. Oh, okay. This, yeah, so that's where the ether flood is. Um, and within the ether flood, you see a few fallen constructs, as well as a few Akashic people that have been caught, unfortunately. Are they okay? Or are they like? Are they are they alive? Are they dead? Do they, do they have money? No, they're they're oh. Akashic, so They've been turned. All right, we can all um, roll in. Right, I'd like to go first. I'd like to go first. Can I guess what game this is from? I also would like to go um, first. You you can. I'm not going to give you a thing for it, but you can guess. Is this from? You're um, always allowed to Assassin's guess. Is this from Assassin's Creed Odyssey? It is not. Ah, damn. It does sound like it's from Assassin's Creed, though. Yeah, damn it. God damn it. I told you, man. It goes go to good. fucking... Da oh, wait. That's a plus fucking five, two on it. There's. You're serious that this isn't from Assassin's Creed Odyssey? It's not Odyssey. But it is Assassin's Creed. No. No, this is... Oh, uh, no. This, oh, this is, is from the Witcher. Diablo 4. This is from The Witcher. It is. It is The Witcher. Yes. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, fuck. Uh, I got a um. I got an eight on my initiative. That will be uh this guy first. So he will go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um, I believe he's in range for an attack. If he has, yes, he does. So he will roll and shoot a beam of magic at Yuma, because Yuma is the closest. Yuma does a 20 hit. Uh, dude, why are you asking these questions? I I just like to be that guy. Yep, I like it does to be hit. that guy. All right. Uh, that's a D8. It's easier for me to roll it on here, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, oh, Jesus. That's eight damage. That's max roll. Uh, can you make a DC7 wisdom save, please? Uh, wait. Oh, I need to beat a seven? Yes, you need to beat a seven. Okay. Should not be that hard, but... Be surprised. Oh shit! Uh, I doesn't even. You got that twenty. Me. You're fine. Um, next is uh, do 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 is uh, Elwind. You are next. Let's go. Um, let me move. Good. Um, and then let me get angle on these guys so that way I can cast Blizzard mm -hmm. on uh, probably this uh, spider looking thing right in front of me. Just yeah, the one at the front. Yeah. Yep. Alright, here we go. Let me go. Hiya! 
16. 16, I believe it. Yes. Okay, and then hit. I'll roll again to hit 13. 13 does not hit. 13 does not hit. Okay, that's okay. I'll roll for damage. Uh, I'll make the con save real quick for him. He passes the... Okay. Uh, okay, good. Um, uh, that's and... damaged. Uh, he is dead. Nice. Um, I moved 15 feet, so I'm going to move right. 3, 5, 10, 15. And then as my bonus action, I think I want to... Yeah, let me activate my barrier ring so that I can get some AC. Plus 2 AC, yep. Yep. Cool. Well, that puts you at 15, right? That does put me up to 15, yes. Cool. Okay. That'll um, be the end of my turn. Cool, that will make it this Akashic's turn. So he will go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that will be his turn because he can't do anything else. Uh, Huma. I'm going to kill them all. Okay. Tell me how you did it. Uh, just, they died. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, combat over. You guys did it. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome, everyone. I'm going to... Let's see. One sec. Um... Okay, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna move. Like, I'm going to move, and then I'm going to Phoenix Dash so that I land, like, right here. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to use my... Uh, reaction or whatever to um do an attack on the spider yep cool i um, is it, it it's just straight damage right that's yeah that auto uh, yeah yeah okay. uh, so eight points of damage dead. to him yep and then i'm going to use my scarlet cyclone Yup. Um. That so is like, a radius centered on yourself. Yep. Yeah. So oh yeah. So it hit these those two. Um. Yeah, these two. Okay. You you can put the yeah. Perfect. All right. There we go. Um. And then they need to beat or they need to do a dexterity saving throw. Yep. They need to beat a fourteen. Roll that real quick. First guy fails. What? Second guy um, what, what is so this guy nine takes points half of damage. damage. So he's barely up. This guy takes nine. And they um, are pushed back five feet if they fail. Pushed back five feet if they fail. Okay, cool. So this guy is five feet. Boom. And he's pushed back here. All right, cool. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Uh, that will make it this guy's turn, actually. So he will move back towards you. Five. Oh, um, also roll a constitution saving throw, please. As you have ended your turn in the ether flood. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> ten. Max damage. On ten, okay. Um, that will be six Kirk points. You lose. Uh, where? It should be an inventory, inventory. at the oh, bottom. Yeah. All right. Uh, he moves up. He will make an attack on you. Slam attack. It does a thirteen? I don't think it. Right. Uh, no, that does not hit. No. Okay. Cool. So that's. His turn. Um, that makes it uh, Quandale. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm gonna move. Oh, not that way. I'm gonna move this way. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, over here, and then I'm gonna use uh, my favorite attack. Great sword. Uh, <laughs> my great sword. Eleven to hit. 11 to hit this guy, uh, does hit, yep. 
All right, I'm gonna roll damage, 11 damage, and then I'm gonna do it again, because oh. why the yep. hell not? Uh, 20 hit to hit. Also? Yeah, <laughs> and then That's cool. the damage is 11, so 22 damage, and then uh, just gonna hit him with a magic burst, because you know, let's just do it. Yeah. Uh, so 23 damage total. Um, what was the damage on the second? It was 11 also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. He's dead even before the magic burst, so. <laughs> Boom. Gone. Cleaved him into the magic. Uh, I don't know if you have enough movement to get somebody else to use the magic burst, but otherwise, that's, that'll be it, pretty much. Yeah, no, I just, uh, 5, 10. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, you only had 10 feet, so, okay. Um, that is Amaranth's turn. Ooh, uh, yep, that hits. 9 damage, cool. 2. 13 also hits. Hit. Yep. 9 for damage. Okay, still up, but looking not so good. I mean, it wasn't looking good before. He's Akashic, but... <laughs> but those hits actually <laughs> identify as uh, criticals. So. Oh, okay. My mistake. Yeah. If you could just... Um, those, right, right. Uh, this guy... Yeah. Uh, let me remove this real quick. I think this is the 10 foot one, yeah, just so I can see more. Okay. Uh, this guy will move five feet here and make an attack on you, Huma. No, I dodge. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, we'll see, won't we? He rolled a 20, so I don't think you dodged that. Unfortunately. He barely hits me. It's like half damage. He hits you for two points of damage. Are you doing that or me? I did it already. All right, cool. Uh, that's his turn. Uh, Jira, you're up. Okay. Fucking, I hate this shit because I could literally pop up blood and die. Um, but. Whoa. Five, you're gonna cough up blood and die. Five, Why would you do that? Thirty feet there, and then I can do. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna enter my dragon's trance. Run up to. That oh, shit. I'm going to activate my dragon's trance, run up to here, and then I'm going to use yep. my jump and attack yep. this gentleman. Uh, which should be... Let that me is see. a dex save, right? Yeah. Uh, DC uh, 14. They have to beat a 14. Plus 2. Okay. Carry the 9. 14 dex. Uh, their dex is minus 2. They fail. Fuck yes! That means that they, um... They die. They take some damage. You want to see a magic trick, Grim? Yeah. Uh, how old are you? Uh, 25. <laughs> Add 5? Mm-hmm. Subtract 5? Yeah. That's your age. So 25. 10 Dude. plus 3 plus a d6, which I will now Dude. roll. Dude. Uh, what the f Fuck. Which is six. So, 19 damage total. 19 damage. Okay. You roll. I don't even think he can't pass that. He's dead. Fuck yeah, baby. Um, and then... I think I can't do anything else. Because I think jump is an action. It is the action, yeah. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's end your right. turn. Then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Okay. Eight roll con. Eight. Oh, fuck. Hang on, let me use a different die, because that first die I used fucked me. <laughs> uh, You're not using the 20 sided tavern save. dice? No, not yet. I gotta mm. save that. That's a dirty 20. No, wait, sorry. Um. I was reading the wrong thing. It's a 17. 17, yeah. You're... I could use the dice. I know what? I'll use them this game. Let's do it. All right. Uh, Walk away the rest of the dice. That brings us back to Elwind. 
Let's go! Alright, so we've got an, a cash dude and a little spider thing. Um, we got a cashew and a bug. I'm gonna come to the edge of this um, thing. It's like... Ether uh, flood. Yeah. Ether flood. There we go. Those are the words. Um, and I'm gonna cast some there. more blizzard. The so ice I mage. The ice wizard. I'm gonna hit it at the, uh, at the cash dude. Yep, Kashyyyk. So. Cool. Hiya! A 19. Definitely hits. And a 22. Let's go. Also hits. I think, what, it's double AC is uh, a crit, right? A crit? So AC, I think like, so. Yes, that's what I usually do. Uh, I usually I mean, do that. I mean, it makes sense. Um, those do are that, those technically be crits, then, I think. Let's go, baby. All right, let me I'm gonna roll. tell you right now, he's dead from both. Like, double AC. There's no way he survived two crits. <laughs> Got him then. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, that's yeah, like he could, I could make the save, but it, there's no way he can get high enough to pass it. So it doesn't, he's dead. Yay. All right, I have <laughs> my turn. Cool. Uh, that is Juma. Um, I'm gonna swing my sword at this this guy right next to me. Yep, the only guy left. Is that yeah? Is that 13 hit? It does not. Kind of I'm bounces off his like stony carapace. I'm gonna swing again. Oh fuck! That's a net one, my dude. Yeah, but I'm gonna use my magic burst on that uh, first one. Yeah, sure. One, <laughs> one damage. <laughs> so you know what? You know I just, what? just let me, just let me impale myself. On, okay, let me just. Well, you know it's funny but... that one point of damage on magic first kills him. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Just enough. I would like to immediately exit the. That's my um, motto. Yeah, me yeah. Too. I'm, I'm gonna ready. assume or after the combat, you guys are gonna leave the. The ether flood because you know it's toxic and will kill you. Like, I'm like on this side and I'm gonna be like, guys, guys, how are you gonna get to me? <laughs> Walks around. Oh, I don't okay. know. Oh shit! Which, which? I was, I was thinking to walk around. Uh, which way? Which way? <laughs> Either one, I guess. Right. It doesn't really matter. Right. You guys start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whichever way they're gonna go, I'm gonna nobody, go like the opposite nobody, way because I'm. Yeah, I meet them. What you if I what go saying? the opposite way because I know how you, you guys are doing? <laughs> right. right. I'm gonna go the, f I'm gonna go I'm the gonna normal way. I'm gonna be like, oh, oh, oh. Like, whoa! Right. All right, let's go back to the map. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was second day, third day. Um. I think it's fine. You guys are probably going down this way. Actually, so that would be... Uh, it's somber. Like if Jill had just died or yes. something. Jesus, okay. Uh, so... <laughs> Let me get my little things here. Man, this area music reminds me of how Jill died. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Right, 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 Elwin. Sorry, nudge, nudge, nudge. You're funny. You're really funny right now. <laughs> I would just like to preface that's not canon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jira, how the old after is credit your mom? Scene. Ooh. Jira, how old is your Doesn't mom? Doesn't matter. Am I right? Jira. Um, probably, I believe, in her 50s mm. now. Nice. Yeah. So when are we going to meet her? Just the way I like her. Oh, she and my father will most likely greet us when we uh, when we go to my estate. They're going to do what with us? I said greet oh, us. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit mother. more than just greet her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I highly doubt that my mother and my father are extremely well off and also quite happily oh, married. I'm going to put that to the test. Oh, Don't worry. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm well off, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. You know, a nat 20 only gives you the best possible outcome. doesn't give you exactly what yeah. you want. <laughs> yeah, but your mother being a whore will give me exactly <laughs> what I <laughs> will. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh. It's war. It's war. 
I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Fight, fight, fight. Alright, so, as you guys are walking down this trail, um, this is basically like your last day until you get to the hideaway. Um, you're about... Let me go back to the map real quick just so we can show you where you guys are at. You're kind of... Um, Probably around here, sort of on the border of Sam Breck, going towards Amber. Um, actually, no, you'd probably be closer to like this side because you, I don't know if you'd go all the way around. So you're like over here. Uh, just, you probably just pass mm -hmm. through or by Martha's Rest. Uh, either way. Um, and let me get back to the map. You said we took a uh, rest. You, yeah, you would, you would have a, a rest. Before, like, because, you know, you, it's been basically a day that you've been traveling, so you would have taken a rest at some point. Not that any, really, only you took damage, so it's not that big a deal, but. Um, I'm going to get my uh, dragon transfer. You see three thing. figures coming the opposite way from you. Um, two appear to be soldiers and the other appears to be in chains um and uh looks like a bearer maybe um jira uh these two soldiers are very clearly in dragoon armor but it's very different to yours um where oh, where yours okay. is like more of a silver and blue with like the white uh, on the cape, uh, these dragoons have like white armor, gold trim, uh, red and gold capes, uh, with gold dragons sort of on their chest plate and shoulders. And they're just escorting oh, this uh, prisoner down the road. I would like to greet them momentarily. I'd be like, fellow soldiers, um, What's, um, brothers in arms, what is happening? They kind of, when you say brothers in arms, they kind of look at each other, uh, and, uh, turn back to you and say, move it, uh, we've got prisoners to escort. Where, why, and where? None of what your business, happening? old guard. <laughs> oh, excuse me? Ooh, they called you old. You should do something <laughs> about that. And they start to push I, you guys. I, I, what the fuck? <laughs> guys, I've played Skyrim. That's... Okay, we give a weapon to the prisoner. Okay, and he'll take care of it. Um, I think we fight them. Or, I mean, well, I don't know what to do. These are my brothers. I don't know exactly. Uh, okay. I'm not doing uh, anything. Do you want to sit this idea. one out and we beat yeah. the shadow? I mean, listen, I'm with you guys. You do something, I'll... I'll I mean, they were kind of—they're leaving. We so if you want to do something, yeah, now, right. casting no, Blizzard you guys like, this is like they're not waiting around for you guys. Like they—they've left at this point. No, I want to shit after him. We gotta save that bear. <laughs> yeah, I'm going after him. You going after him? Uh, uh, yeah, boys. I'm gonna—I'm gonna hastily follow, unsure of what I'm doing. We're not leaving the bear <laughs> behind. <laughs> Right. Well, hang on. Let's not just kill my brothers. Well, they probably um, have better uh, armor, and they probably have money on them, so I'm down to kill them. We'll put you guys down here. Yeah, we're, we're not robbing my brothers in arms. We're I'm going robbing, to rob them. We're just lifting them of their valuables. All right. So you guys start to follow them. Are you are you literally like running after them, or are you trying to like sneak up on them? Um, what did the bearer do to get in trouble? It was mostly uh, like I was gonna no like, way of knowing that. run up and hit him. So I'm just gonna I run up and hit him. Out. Yeah, I was gonna like run up and like get within range and cast Blizzard on all of them. Just just the the one in the back. Mostly just like focus him down. So I was gonna do. But are you trying to get to him stealthily? Because there's. Uh, I'm gonna like phoenix the, dash. The smart I'm gonna phoenix dash on him. Is to do that, but I'm not gonna do that. Hit the guy I'm in the just front. Gonna, hit the guy I'm in the just front. going to hit him. Hit the guy in the front. I'm gonna phoenix, right, phoenix the guy dash the, the, guy the guy in the back. I got the guy in the front. I got the guy in the front. I got him. All right. So what is everybody doing? I'm gonna me, be, I will, one at a time. I'm I'm going to 
I will enter Dragon's Trance, and I will jump over the line and meet the guy at the front and hold him there. And then I'm going to stab okay. him. I'm going to shoot the Stop. demon attack. Can we do one thing yeah, normally, One thing please? at a time. Can we knock them out? Okay, so first thing, before anybody... Stop. Don't roll anything. <laughs> Jira, you jump in front of them. Um, yes. And... They kind of stop startled for a second, and then they kind of stiffen up and say, I thought we told you to move, old guard. And I asked you what was going on. <laughs> and I said, it was none of your business. Now move aside. Well, I'm making it my, well, I'm making it my business, so tell me or I don't move. Move or we move you. And they, like, ready their, their spears. <laughs> I'm going to I'm Phoenix. I want to Phoenix dash. Play, I, as soon as they ready their spears, let me Phoenix, Phoenix dash. You're hitting the one in the back, I assume? <laughs> yep. Okay. I'm shooting the so one. Go, the yeah, okay. You Phoenix dash up to him. And let, let, me, me, let me get my on. swing on him. Let me I wasn't, get my... In all fairness, I was not waiting for them to ready weapons. I was just shooting them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that my attack should go before. You were just going to shoot him regardless. Uh, fair. Uh, I, was, I was told to take him out. Other people in the group said that they wanted to rob them. And then the new guy was like, I don't know if we should do this, but like, it's okay if you guys want to. And then someone said, no bear left behind. So I said, I shoot him in the yeah. back. I, I saw red. I saw red. And bro. Bodies, hit the floor. bodies hit the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. What do you want us to do? All right. Amaret says you're just shooting him. So Amaret, you can roll, roll your, your bow shot. 17, um, just hits. Okay. I'm not treating this like a real turn, so I'm not going to take the extra attack. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because this is effectively a surprise run, so you guys get, like, one attack for, for so, uh, you. so, Huma, your, your Phoenix dash would count as your, like, attack, basically. Oh yeah. So you can roll um, your damage. Assuming but... my jump. I'm gonna assume my jump. Yeah, was your mine. jump would seven. technically be your your action. Yeah, seven, well. seven damage. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, Owen Quandale, are you doing anything as this effective surprise round? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna cast uh, Blizzara on this guy. Oh God. Okay. Hmm? All right, let me roll the hit. Please, 22. <laughs> that does hit, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, good. Whoa. Um, <laughs> and then I, I do quick. 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. From the Ice Wizard. With a Constitution to Yes. So, you've pummeled this first guy already. He's not dead, but he's struggling. He failed the concept, of course. <laughs> yes! Be cold. Yeah, that's Be cold. Reduced movement and shiver. Disadvantage <laughs> on dex save or dex rolls. Cool. Okay, so he he's he's chill. Quandale. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll move here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, to this guy, and then I'm going to try and sneakily hit him in the back or catch him off guard with my. I mean, this is a surprise one. So you get you get one attack, and then that's your yeah. Like, I'm gonna catch him off guard with my great. Wait, do I get advantage because it's a surprise? Um, no, because he technically knows you're there. He just, I mean, you're just running up, so... Yeah, but like, he doesn't know no. I'm going to fucking swing at He him. does. You guys have, like, just run up and attacked effectively. So, like, he knows you're here. You've what do you want to hit? It hits. Like, I don't know what you're worried about. No, I was worried about it not hitting, but it hit. Okay, uh, nine damage on him. Nine damage, okay. And with that, we will now... Fully enter initiative. Uh, we have Puma first. We've already pummeled um, this guy into the floor. 
Like he's da unconscious? No, he's alive, but he is pummeled very heavily. He so like, up, if I were to move him. up on this guy, would I? Would he have an attack? Yes, he's still alive, so he gets an opportunity to attack if you move. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to knock him out with this attack. You're gonna knock him out? Yeah, well, the homeboy's saying keep one alive. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm that it's non lethal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, non lethal confirmed. No, it doesn't yeah, okay. matter anyway. Uh, yeah, you don't um, hit. Does the second one non lethal that, hit? Yes. Yes, it does. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. He is unconscious. Yep. <laughs> And then, uh, I'm gonna bonus action Phoenix Dash up to here, and then use my reaction for the damage. I guess I'm conscious. That is, uh, that would make it, uh, Elwind. Okay. Um, let me get an angle on this other guy. Bit. Um. And then let me hit him with a blizzard. Yeah, let's see if these will hit. Uh, 15 doesn't hit, huh? And 15 does not hit, no. And that die. also does not hit. That is unfortunate. Uh, I will just cry over here. Okay. Uh, well, that will make it <laughs> his turn. So, um, he will, um, this is a bonus action, right? What is? Uh, Drag Dragoon's tr Tramp. Uh, I've heard your, yeah, that's a bonus action. Right? Yep, so Ooh. he will enter his Dragoon's Trance, um, and he will use um this action to cast heavy thrust on uh jira <laughs> so heavy thrust all right so let me roll to attack here uh jira does a 22 hit I think you know already know. Yeah, the I do know. <laughs> All right, so let me roll the damage, which is double because I have heavy thrust. Damage. Why did I roll the attack again? There we go. Okay. Uh, that makes it easy for me. Um, here, are you take uh, sixteen damage as he whips back his spear and <laughs> thrusts it into you. <laughs> ah, so much ah, ah. Jesus um, me. He will then um Should be his action in his bonus action. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that's all I can do. What? <laughs> we don't have bonus actions, bonus attacks, and other shit. <laughs> Maybe do we... you don't. Oh fuck. <laughs> the bear was a plan uh, the whole time. Will... Then, um, you his reaction. No, he won't use his reaction. This is not Um, but he can use his movement to make a jump, it's not provoke opportunity attack, and he will jump over here, and that will be his turn. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh, that will be Amaranth, your turn. Both hit. Melissa. It goes without saying, mine was obviously lethal damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Now it's Jira's turn. I will also use my jump. Can you jump that far? I guess you can move towards him, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. And I will strike him. 
Uh, so that should be my glaive's damage. It has to make it a DC 14 save. Great. Uh, oh, he's chilly. Oh, no, that was the other guy. I think he passes. Yeah, he, he easily passes that. Fuck. All right. Well, then it's that. It should still be my weapon damage. Plus. Let me see. So 13 plus 4. It'd be 17. So it's half of 17. So 8. Okay. That's what six. Hey, the thing is eight. Yeah, it's eight. We're eight, good. Nine. I got it. I'll just use um, magic burst then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Four damage. Cool. Um. Okay. So, uh, as his reaction. Um, seeing that he clearly doesn't think he can win this fight, um, and seeing that oh, you're yeah. clearly trying to capture one of them, uh, he will throw his spear at his comrade and impale him, killing him. Oh! Oh, fuck. fuck's Yo. sake! <laughs> Whoa. Does he, does he make that with disadvantage because um, the guy's laying down on the ground? He would no, make it with advantage because he's prone. No, so. because it's not a melee attack. Melee attacks are with advantage. Range attacks against a prone target are disadvantage. By the well, rules. he hit him. How's that? I mean, that's <laughs> fine. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. By the rules, I don't know what edition we're playing anymore because we're pulling Pathfinder rules into this too. So we the rules I want at this point. And I'm not allowed Final Fantasy weapons. Exactly. <laughs> Same Master um, Sword. Yeah, where's the Master Sword? The Master Sword is coming, don't worry. Um, oh, fuck. So yeah, he impales him, so he's dead now. Um, oh, oh, man, now we have to knock out this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you're, you're sad about that. I just what? Uh, I'm trying to think of what he would do with that. Um... Well, he's weaponless now, so I mean... Well, he's weaponless, and we can capture him and try him for the murder of that guy. <laughs> so... Put that motherfucker Yeah, so he trial. throws his spear at that guy, and then... Um, Jira, as you just jumped on him, he will turn towards you and just, like, impale himself on your glaive. Oh man! And then, the, <laughs> as he as he dies, he just says "for the emperor," and dies. Uh, oh no, wait a minute! Jira, come on, we're supposed to keep that guy alive. Come on, dude! Like for real. Uh, I'm just like kind of standing there, like because that's not something a dragoon would normally do. Is just kill himself. Oh, this, that this is the new school dragoons. Yeah, apparently these guys are. <laughs> Not Remember the coolest. Your old, your old school. Yeah. Apparent. Hey, you're lady. cool. Jesus. You're, you're you right. would murder your friend and then stab yourself on your enemy. <laughs> no, I would not. For this, for this bear. Hi, bear. Here, let's get you out of those The chains. bear looks like horrified. By the way. <laughs> I mean, we didn't even kill anybody this time. So yeah, yeah we, we really didn't, didn't get a chance anyone. to like like he was at the end of the initiative, so he didn't even get a chance to do anything. He just watched you guys slaughter these people. <laughs> well, we didn't kill anybody. We didn't kill anyone. Well, he, he, he watched the group kill his friend time. and then stab himself, basically. That's horrifying. I mean, that is horrifying. I also I was, it's it's kind of gross. Idea. So and, and he just, he's looking at eyes like, uh, please help me, let me out. Uh, <laughs> that's what we're here to do, old bear. Can I walk up to the bear and be like, what is it you even did that made them arrest you? I, I tried to escape. I, Please, I'll go back, I promise. Just don't hurt me. 
<laughs> if, hang on. I, I'm not with them. Escaped where? My my master. I. I'm, I used to work in uh, Martha's Rest, but I. I escaped, and they they caught me. Guys, I think there might be a reward if we take him back. <laughs> Yo, no, Quandale, no, we gotta bring him back to the, to the hideout. He, he looks at Quandale and just like with horror on his face. He's like, no, please. <laughs> no, we're not bringing you back. We have a safe place for you. We'll we'll take you there. Really? Yes, you'll Lame. be safe. Follow I us. Really, yeah, I write it. My I'd like name. to loot the dragoons. I would like some better <laughs> armor. I don't know what's called in here. So I don't know what to tell yeah, they've you. got cool gold embroidered armor. Yeah, I want them. We probably, which is probably fucking ruined by spears being impaled into them. A yeah, uh, little, little bit of wear and tear, right? <laughs> I could, I could probably fix it up. Guys? Yeah, what's their, what's their armor AC? Can I steal it? I mean, I don't think it's any better than yours. It might be worse than yours. Well, I want better what armor. What armor do you have? I have a uh, chainmail armor. Um, it's not going to be any better. It's literally worse, I think. It's like well, what's the AC? But you don't know. Well, they. Oh, what are they? Oh, yeah, I know the, his AC is less drip. than yours. You'll have drip, Quandale. Give so me that's... a number. <laughs> Let me look. Because they, they also get their decks, so I have to see what the actual armor they're wearing is. Uh, I do enjoy drip. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Can you put a price Wait, on did, looking good? I, did... I do like, enjoy it, I enjoy it, drip and big bazoongas. So. <laughs> it's, it should be scale mail, so it's like 14. Very uh, no, man. they weren't wearing scale mail. Oh. But Wait, it's literally worse than yours, though. It's 15. I'm at 15. <laughs> no, you have minus one because you fought those jellies and they disintegrated your armor. Your AC wow. is normally 16. Oh, yeah, actually. Shit, yeah, actually, I could use a new set of armor. Can I take theirs? <laughs> oh, shit, my armor. It's a heads. You want to take... Well, what's, what's your well, current AC? It... Well, it's day 16, but with the assassin done to my... Uh, I think I can use medium. Up to medium armor? Um, I believe so. Oh, yeah, you could use it, I guess. If you wanted to. Yeah. You want to wear these different I mean, colors? If... I mean, if we encounter any other dragoons, it might help if they think I'm one of them. <laughs> So yes or no, you want to take the armor? Because you will have the the white and gold with the red cape. Yes. I'm going to take it. Okay. Abandoning his own colors. Armor in uh, uh, can I actually, or more likely, could I use it to repair my armor or make it improvements to it so that way I'm not wearing the whole colors? You want to, like, mismatch it? Is that what you're... Yeah, kind of. Like, basically use the armor to repair it, but, like, keep the same cloak on, and then, like, more, like, patch job my armor. I mean, you could take it, and then, I mean, you would, I, like, there's the blacksmith at the hideaway that you could use. I'm, I assume they would tell you about it. It's like, you could take it Yeah, there. I would, yeah, like, I would. I'll basically, you could take it I'll to take a the armor, I won't wear and they, it. They could, like, reforge yours and that armor together to be... Essentially, like the same AC as that, but with your like look. If that's what you want to do. Yes, let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna do that. So yeah. I'll, I'll put the armor in your inventory for now, um, and then you can just put it on when you get to um, the hideaway. We'll just say that you go and talk to the blacksmith, and he'll do it for you. Come back. All right then. Okay then. Ooh, half plate? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright then. Um, I have no idea who this emperor is they're talking about. Well, dude, you, would, you know that Sam Breck has a, an emperor. Okay. 
I think I just did not write that down somewhere. Hmm. I right, mean, then. so technically, the because you would know this, because you know you live there. Yeah. Um, essentially, yes. the way that the power structure works in Sambrek is there is a what's called a, like the Council of Cardinals that appoints the Holy Emperor, who's like effectively a figurehead, uh -huh. but not like you know he he still has power, but yeah. So there's an emperor. But he's less of like a like dictator emperor than you would think, because there's the council that like appoints him basically. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So there you go. Done there. I assume you guys would I mean, at this point you guys would be able to make your way back to the um, the hideaway. You would have a lot right on the way because you have one day left. Uh, but, just fucking yeah. trudging along with a fucking gaping wound in my chest until we rest. Yeah, I mean, you guys can take your rest. You'll end up at the hideaway. Uh, yeah, so, Jira, this is your first time at the hideaway. Um, so, when they are leading you here, you notice that they're taking you straight into the Deadlands. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, I'm just, like, kind of amazed that, like, we're, like, walking into the Deadlands and there's, like, forestry and shit out here. Well, so there's not, like, again, like, this map is a little inaccurate. Right, no, but, right, sorry, but, like... Right, like, uh, so you would have, you basically have the Deadlands, which is just, like, everything's, like, dead and gray, and you would know what the Deadlands are, you probably, I don't know if you, I mean, it's kind of up to you if you think you would have gone to the Deadlands at some point. Um, but... Probably not, honestly. But yeah, and then you end up at this, like, essentially base in, like, tucked away in these fallen ruins with all these bearers and people, like, you know, all around, like, going about their business. Right, gotcha. I'm really kind of amazed. I'm like, Jesus, they made a life for themselves here of all places? Uh, yeah, life um, isn't easy as a bear. You didn't know that. Um, but, uh, they make do with what we got out here. So, you know, Sid will tell you more about it if you're curious. I am, actually. Well, we should probably get you to meet the man. And, uh, we gotta talk to him anyways, because he has important information for us. So let's go talk to Sid. Alright, to Sid we go, I assume. Then we go to Sid. Uh, Sid, my boy. Yeah, you, it's very clear that everybody is kind of, like, looking at you you because for like a probably probably never around so many bears um right and yeah so they're all just kind of like is that a dragoon like i what are they doing here uh hello you just you just kind of hear murmurs <laughs> and everybody just kind of like looks up for a second and if you like look at them they'll kind of just like go back to what they were doing oh um no, right then. And you, yeah, and you would also see that there's a bunch of these uh, more outfitted, like, people around. Um, they also, um, you would notice they have a very large scar on the side of their face. Um, and I think you'd probably be able to infer that, um, like, if you, if you were to look at one of the other bearers and then look at these guys, you can tell that that's kind of where the bearer mark would have been. And so it seems like these people have maybe uh, had them removed some way, which I don't think you would even know it was possible. Uh, yeah, you know, as far as I know, it's not. Yeah, right. so that's that's what you see as well. Cool. All right, I guess I'll, I'll go talk to the, um, the man himself well, following so these Elwin. Guys, guys outside, well, when uh, El they see Elwin, they Elwin. they're like, oh, uh, Elwin, you're back. Uh, it's good to see you. Glad you're uh, venture, I guess, was a success. Uh, you came back it alive, was. so that's good. Yeah, we really... It was, guys! <laughs> um, and well, then they, I, they I both kind of turned to... Yeah, and, and they both kind of turned to Jira, and they, like, look at him for a good, like, two seconds, and they turn back to you and like, who's this? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... Uh, he helped us uh, with the... Uh, 
whole Sage Spire thing, so so we brought really? him along because he's trustworthy and uh, good in a fight. If you say so, well, and I guess we'll company. let Sid decide. I'll go on through uh, and then kind of step out of your way and let you enter Sid's office. Thanks, guys. They, one of them kind of pokes in and says, Sid, you've got some visit." And then kind of like right this way, and he like opens the door for you and lets you inside. Bird. On we go into Sid's little office. Yeah, Jira, this is the first time you've seen Sid, so um, you see uh, an older guy. Um, maybe he's got some like graying starting in his hair. Um, he's wearing like a full like leather like suit like you know like leather pants he's got leather like jacket on leather he's very leathery <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my yeah. mm. um, uh he first sees elwin come in he's like ah oh, so you yeah. got my schools, i see yes we did i want to go to your basement i assume the rest <laughs> of you are the rest of them are outside yeah they're oh. all Gathering supplies, resting up, and I want, I want to go to your dungeon. Hanging out. And then... <laughs> you have been to his dungeon. Yeah, you have. It's true. Um, yeah, and then and then he he again, up, like same sort of thing. He turns to Jira, but this time he addresses you directly, Jira. He's like, "So, who do we have here?" My name is Jira, sir. Jira, dragoon, I see. Yes. What brings you not to my me. humble abode? <laughs> Look at his armor, yeah. Well, very I, <laughs> very naughty. Well, Elwin and their crew here be, um, helped me complete a mission of mine by, I assume, me helping them complete theirs. And in the process, I've discovered that some things may not be as normal as at home as I left them. So I've been traveling. I'm going to be traveling with them for the foreseeable. Wasn't that a noble cause? Can we show him the dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> as well, as long as you don't, uh, you're not gonna cause any trouble. You're more than welcome to stay. Um, as you can Thank see, you. this is sort of a haven for bears, freed bears that we've uh, procured. Let's say. Um, yes, this is a safe haven. <laughs> um, we tend to keep our location quite uh, discreet. We usually don't um, let just anybody in, so uh, discretion we is should, appreciated. We should tell him, that him the safe word. Yeah. Tell him the safe word. Oh, yeah, word. let me add the other bear guy that you guys brought to. <laughs> right, Scott. We brought the bear! Yes! <laughs> Here we go. Here's this guy. We'll of say course. he sits down. Of course. I'm really glad this is the same Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If you know, you know. Alright. If you know, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you don't so, know, you don't know. Yeah. So it'll say, okay, well, um, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me. Um, I'll let you guys rest up, and then we can meet in Vivian's map room to discuss uh, the things I was I told you about. Oh, oh no! <laughs> we can meet in Vivian's map room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Safe word is Zendaya. Shut the fuck up! Sensei, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> safe. Oh, I'm guessing no, everyone's the, everyone's the seen the boys. <laughs> I'm, guessing, I'm guessing everyone's watched caught up on the boys. I'm guessing. Oh man. I am. Yes. Yeah, so you say yeah. He said you guys can rest up, uh gather some supplies if you need them, and then like basically tomorrow he will um meet you guys in the map room to discuss the stuff that he was talking about in the letter. Is there a place, like a workbench, I can use to fix my armor? 
Because I have the scraps. Yeah, I mean, at, like outside in the courtyard is where the blacksmith is. Um, zoom, zoom, zoom. You can go talk to him. His name is Blackthorn. Um, oh, um, for real? I would also yeah. like to speak to Blackthorn. I yeah, I mean, I assume him. all I you guys are going to go and get all your armor stuff sorted. You can, like, revert all the stuff that you... Because you guys had materials that you got from there, too. So, um, yeah, you guys can... I would also like to talk to... Yeah, I'm just going to walk up to him and be like, Sir, I have a few requests. Firstly, I have a glaive that is in dire need well, of Well, tell repair. that to him. Don't tell that to us. I am telling You're them. not even... Oh, moving, moving character over there. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> The map's here for a reason, okay? <laughs> I go. Okay. I go first. Jesus Christ. Or actually, no. I'm just go going. I'm it. just going to repair my armor. I'm just going to do it myself. I don't want to talk down. I'll just watch him. Uh, sir, I uh, if you if you try to just... use the forge, yeah. Blackthorn will stop you. He won't. Let, he does not let anybody else use the forge with him. Uh, hey, buddy, can I? Use the he, Hello. Blackthorn will kind of look at you guys and be like, "If you guys bring the materials." I can I, I can do the work you need. I, I, I don't do it for you. I have the materials and I can do it myself. Can I use your forge? You will not do it yourself. Intimidate. <laughs> Inti He's not How intimidated you by you at all. <laughs> Intimidate. Well, I haven't even rolled. How do you know? He's not intimidated. I'm telling you, he doesn't give two shits about you. His name is the Blackthorn. You can't intimidate that man. Blackthorn, more like Blackthorn. I'm telling you now, he's gonna pass. Oh, well. Yeah, you failed. He just kind of looks at you and is like, do you want your stuff repaired or not? Okay, fine. Just repair my shit, please. Yeah, like I said, you guys can all go and get, like, you got materials from the mine, so you can get your stuff repaired. DJ, you have both the armor sets, so he will combine them for you. Um, if you guys are getting anything done from him, he does take a 500. 500, um, what is it, Gil? Hello? 500 what? Yeah, 500, 500 Gil. Yes, if you guys are doing, if, you, if you're getting him to do anything, you need the materials, and then 500 Gil to Persuasion. get anything done. Persuasion for 200. Okay, that's fine. I'll give it to him. Persuade 200. Let's Persuade go. for what? 200, Gil. It's for the he repairs. says no. Well. <laughs> he actually raises the price to 600 because you tried. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, get fucked. Oh, fine. 500. I'll give him 500. He looks at you and says, don't try anything again or I'm never working on your stuff. And then he... So, yeah. He fixes like once you give him the stuff and the money. He will. You can revert anything that happened to your gear. Jira, you can. You know, and your I armor's finished. Have It'll yet. all be done within like the day by the time you guys go to the map room. So, like, if you want anything done, that's when you would do it. Did we get mithril while we were in the yeah. mines? Did you what? Did we get any mithril while we were in the mines? You did not, not pick up any mithril. No. You got your dust crystals, but you did not get any mithril. As a point, I think uh, Blackthorn will also probably tell you, since it's technically, I think it's your guys' first time actually talking to him here. Um, but he would say that if you guys come across any like rare materials from like different like types of monsters or whatever, you could bring it to him, and he could potentially make you like special gear out of it. Ooh, can I bring him those uh those purple crystal things? The the dust crystals? Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean you I think you would probably be smart enough to know that that's A not gonna be good for armor because it's a crystal. Um and B, uh I think you did you like inspect them at all? Like did you do any checks on them or did you just pick them up? Uh, you said that they were, like, dark, like, it's, like, a synthetic, like, ether thing, um, instead of, right, like, the yeah, so, I mean, device. with, with, even with just, like, a little bit of, like, You're testing and investigation, uh, you'd be able to, like, just on your own, you'd be able to tell these things are very fragile, I'm probably okay. not, like, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't use, like, regular, like, ether crystals for, like, stuff like that, 
and these are like okay. weaker effectively versions so you would probably know that that's not something that's practical uh, or possible okay cool but yeah so yeah you can't really do anything with the the dust crystals unfortunately fair enough he would say something like uh, I've seen a crystal like that before um something usable for weapons and armor but um definitely unique uh, yeah unique they are and they came from a special cave they're weird or died <laughs> um Anything else you guys want to do before you take your rest? Um, no, negative. Alright. Um, well, before you guys take your rest, there is something that I will do. Um, uh -oh. If you guys remember Nectar, um, he was the Google that you guys talked to about the hump board previously. Oh, yeah. Um, um, he will see you guys return uh, and kind of come up to you and be like, oh, you're back. Did you did you take out any of the targets on the hunt board yet? Uh, is I think a we did. Chimera I think we did. The board. Um, not a regular chimera. Um, but so um, That's he cool. also says the board has regular. been updated. Um. So if you guys, I I assume if you guys wanted to check the board, you could because I actually wrote up a decent list of things on there now with actual rewards. So that's I'm actually good. I wish something to you look could do. at the board. I'm good. That's fine. He said it already, so. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> just because just because you said you worked hard on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, so when so Owen, when you go to look at the hump board, um, you can see there's two postings for each rank. The ranks being going from S to C. Um, the two S ranks, um, and the posts are sometimes they'll have like rough sketches of the monster and stuff like that. Or um, for the higher tier ones, like the S and A ranks, they're usually like just descriptions. Because nobody okay. really gets, like, they see, you know, it's like, oh, it did this or that or whatever. Um, so for the two, there's two S ranks. Um, again, S rank being the toughest things to fight. Um, it The first one describes, um, like, large amounts of, um, like, livestock being taken uh, without a trace. Um, burn marks through like villages and stuff like that, um, and just a a very loud um, sound of a wings beating. Uh -huh. um, the reward posted for that is two hundred thousand gil. Um, oh, the second S armor. rank. Good lord. Um, second S rank one. Again, just another description, um, but it details uh, large roars, very loud roars being heard, large footprints, um, and um, large uh, scratch marks, um, like two-pronged scratch marks throughout like tree the ground. Um, the reward posted is 150,000 gil. The two A ranks. Um, one is a described as a excessively large chimera, um, boasting um, some dominion over like certain types of magic. Like it's able to use magic in a certain sense. Um, the reward posted is fifty thousand gil. Second A rank um, depicts two uh, metallic golems uh, that have been sort of on a rampage. Uh, 
both wielding large swords and shields. Uh, the reward being 75,000 gil. Two B rank quests. Um, one, this, these are the first ones that have actual sketches. Um, one being what looks, appears to be some sort of um, living flame creature. Um, the reward is 40,000 gil. The second B-rank quest is a a creature with it looks like a just a large eyeball with arms and legs. It has uh, demon wings and a demon tail. Um, Jesus Christ! And the reward is twenty five thousand gil. And finally, the two C-rank quests. One is very clearly a griffin, um, and the reward is five thousand gil. And then. Um, I think everybody with Jira would recognize this last one uh, as a Morble. And the reward is 10,000 gil. Didn't we and kill those one are of these? Your, you, did, you killed one? That was the intro quest that you guys did. You killed the Morble. You remember at the very beginning. Yes. So, yeah, so those are, the... those are all the hunt board targets that are listed. Hmm. So, so can we take the reward for the Killed? Which one? The, the, the Morgul thing? It's a different Morgul. Oh, it's a, a different, different Morgul, kind of... yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, all, all these are fresh quests, so they were like just recently posted, basically. Okay. Unless you guys have anything else, you guys can all do a long rest, and then you can meet Sid in Vivian's map room for your debrief. Said, "Well, meet you all in the map room." Um, he turns and says, "Ah, you're all here. Good. Um, quite a bit has happened uh, since you guys have left. Um, we heard more Wouldn't reports like of uh, the strange beast that has been sort of making its way through the twins. Um, nothing super solid, but." Um, lots of reports of large tunnels. Um, not much more than that, though. Lots of places destroyed. Um, they... Why are you letting things become destroyed? We don't even know what we're looking for. Nobody's even seen this thing. We barely saw it. Um... Sorry, what did you say you cut out? I said we barely saw it. You you saw you saw it? When? Barely. Like a while ago. Do you have that a description? Did you get a good enough look at it? What was it? It was a beast of some sort. Wasn't it, wasn't it, we got the description that what, like, it was like, was it scaly, correct? Well, it was not it scaly, was, no. It had okay, never six mind legs, because it was like insect That's right. It, like, and I think it was yeah, more so, stony. I mean, I don't know if anybody wrote it down when I described it before, but. If not, then I guess you don't remember. I do remember I had six legs. Yeah. I do I mean, remember that. So you, so you relay that. I just don't, yeah, what I really don't remember is where I wrote it down. I do remember writing it down because mm -hmm. I think you told us to. I just don't know where. I don't think I've ever told you guys to write anything down. But I feel like I, I remember you pausing for us to, to write it down. I did not write down the description I got for some reason. Well, he says, well, that, I mean, it's at least something. Um, did you at least see how big it was? I mean, the tunnel uh, suggests it's massive, but. Yeah, it's it's pretty massive. It yeah. drills yeah. massive holes through uh, caverns. Like, you remember that movie, own. Godzilla? Think of that. Okay. <laughs> 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 the most, like, fucking generic thing he said. Remember no Godzilla? Yeah, that. Yeah. What? 
It's big. All right. Uh, six legs. Uh, we'll try to get some more information on it, but it doesn't even, from what we've seen, we, there's not even a pattern that it's moving in. It's just going all over. Um, but uh, at least with the with whatever you did at the the sage spire you went to, um, uh, the Iron Kingdom seems to be crippled. Um, I might be able to at least enact the first portion of uh, our plan here with that being settled. Um, I would probably say that um, the country of Sandbrek is also looking for the same kind of thing, like seas broken land because like, they're already doing that to Rosalith um, yeah so says- Sam- Sandbrek is, has always been, um, or at least more recently, they've been uh, grabbing for more land especially now that uh, Rosaria is out of the picture um, um, as for us, we're not uh we're not buying for land necessarily. We're, if you remember, our goal is to um, remove the mother crystals, and a as well as a need on the um, bearers as a whole. Yeah, but to remove the mother, but to remove the mother crystals would diminish most societies. It might be bad at first, but over time, it will get better for everyone. Yeah, most societies use bears as slave work anyways. True, but there should be better ways to be able to make them free than to remove the ability for others to use magic. If you have a suggestion, I'm all ears. I've tried a lot of things. This Not have you seen the have you now, seen the deadlands but... around us? Hmm. You know what causes I this? I do not. What what happens when you use the magic from a crystal? So it breaks, right? Where does that ether come from? Oh, yeah. I cannot tell you. It comes from the land. And where are the biggest and when the ether is all used up, the lands turn into the dead lands. The void of life. Where where are the biggest crystals drawing the most ether? take out the mother crystals, the land stops dying. Typical, Basically, we're saving the world. Typical Vera yapping about things he doesn't know about. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you understand how any of that worked? No. Well, they had already talked to him, so it. they do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just said no. He's like, well, yeah, no. but I didn't just yap my flap about it without knowing anything about it. Regardless, uh, I think this back and forth could be beneficial for us both. Um, assuming you all are keen on visiting more of these sage spires, that could help us to clear the path to the mother crystals. Um, as of right now, um, Sambrek seems to be on the move, grabbing land. Um, I don't see that being a viable option at the moment to, even though they have two mother crystals under their control at current, uh, they are just too formidable of a force to take on for something, so for some operation of that scale. Um, recommend um i would advise you head to dalmachia they seem to be in sort of a lull state at the moment um maybe head to the free city of canver um try to get some information on the sage spire um but they're probably your best option through sam breck um were proved fruitful at the moment, given the state of things. Uh, what is the state of things? Because we don't know. 
like I said, yeah, they, so I they seem I, to be I, I in a land grab at the moment, expanding their forces, uh, beefing up their military. Um, it'll be hard to get anywhere around Sembrek right now. From what our, our intel Have you heard suggests. anything about the em Have you heard anything about the Emperor at Sembrek? Mm, nothing interesting. Why? I encountered a few dragoon on my way on our way here. Uh, they spoke much more differently and called me old guard based on the armor I wore. They wore some. They wore a much different style and. Quite frankly, I'm not. And when they died to protect any intel, which seems very out of character. First time hearing of them, could be just part of their new uh, military, uh, but I can try to get some more intel. Um, like I said, first I've heard of any uh, suicidal dragoons, so definitely something worth looking yeah. into. I appreciate it. Um, if you if you all are planning on heading to Dalmechia, um, I would um, recommend potentially trying to procure um, transport, perhaps a uh, some chocobo for yourselves. Um, but as I said, that's more of a personal preference if you don't mind walking all the way through the desert. I would definitely prefer a mount. We, I we would can't prefer keep them flying. here, but. Um, right. Um, like I said, we can't. we. With the state of things here, um, we're, we already have to deal with enough with living in the Deadlands, but um, definitely could find... If you go back into the Rosarian lands, they're usually um, not too long, not too hard to find some wild chocobo you could try to wrangle. Um, but if you, if you do manage to... Would you Rangles just call them? Trouble, um, <laughs> you can always bring them back here and we can uh, have Blackthorn make some saddles for you. Woohoo! Pretty much everything I've got intel wise. Um, unless you all have some anything interesting to share. I know we had to talk about the Dragoons. Um, and a little bit more intel on the creature, but other than that, um, yeah, I'll leave you all to it. Um, I'll, as always, I'll be around if you need me. Um, feel free to come and talk to me, ask any questions you need. Uh, do we have any other... To share them. So. I don't know, do you? Jill's dead. Was... Yeah, my sister's dead. Yeah, I guess that's cool. Uh, I'd say the ice thing's kind of a big deal, but you know what? What ice thing are you talking about? Nothing. Okay. Actually, the ice. I'm perfectly content required. in my corner. Oh, yeah, I got a cool ice sword. Oh yeah, and I guess I have cool ice powers too, I guess. But wow, you're cool. I always I am cool, thank you. I always did ice stuff, so like it's not anything too crazy. He kinda of looks at you for a second after you say like, Oh, I got some new ice powers and stuff. And he kinda of like gives you a good stare for a second and he's like, I can feel I can feel the uh the ether coming off of you. Very potent. Um How how did you acquire these powers? What is it? Uh, uh, you know, just uh, touching cool ancient stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you just gotta poke at ancient things, and then ancient things happen to you. Ancient <laughs> things happen. Strange, because I was gonna say, if I had to guess based on the amount of magic radiating off of you, um, I wouldn't say you're a dominant, but I guess I could be wrong. 
I just know I have a dominant. I'm not like, uh, yeah. not like you know, the, the next coming of, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So. I thought you were gonna say, yeah, "There's no way I'm a dominant. I'm too submissive." <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Well, That's the kind of campaign we're in. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> We've already established that Sid has a dungeon. Yeah. Okay. So, Sid will leave you to it. Um, and it's kind of up to you guys what you want to do next. Um. All right. So it sounds like going anywhere near Sandbrick sucks. Um. So what about uh the free city? That sounded kind of interesting. Free city of wherever that was. The free city of Canver is what he said. Of of um, Canver. Or Denver. Canver. Right here at the bottom in Dalmachia, you can see right here. Ah, uh, free city of Canver. Yeah. Right next to Drake's uh, Fang. Let's head to Denver. <laughs> let's go to Denver, <laughs> boys. <laughs> um, if you guys, um, I don't think anybody's from Dalmachia, right? I remember. Uh, no. And most of you are from uh, Rosaria. Are you Rosaria? Um, so, I mean, if you want to roll a history checks, if you see if you know anything about Delmechia or be like the free city itself, you can. Um, I would love to learn about Delmechia. Let me see if I know anything. I'm rolling. Let me just I'm rolling. Hey, can we just read? Can we just read it instead? What? Ooh, that's a 17 for history, baby. Where? Whatever I want to. I just want to read the lore. Can you publish a book after this, True. Yeah, uh, yeah after the entire again. campaign's done, I'll publish a book. Let's go. Let's uh, go. What was that? You, who, who rolled? Did anybody roll? I don't see any rolls. Uh, uh, Jeff has it recorded. He has to do it now. Uh, I mean, okay. I guess I can do it. I'll roll a history check, since I... I got a 17 on my history. Got a 17. How am I supposed to know that? I rolled not good, question mark? I can't see it. It's not happening. Oh, oh I gotta close like 500 things. A 10! <laughs> Let's go! I'm so, so well endowed in history. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, so uh, 10 on my history check. Uh, okay, 10 on the history check, you got 17. Um, so uh, I, yeah, I mean, assuming uh, Jira would share his knowledge since you're traveling with them, right? I assume, or not, I don't know. Either way, uh, Jira would definitely is. know at least a, lo a look. A little bit about uh canver uh dj are you there yeah okay Sorry. um so you would know a little bit i mean you've never been there so you're going to know what you know you would have learned while in sam breck um which is that yeah. um the free city of canver is effectively like its own like settlement um it's not necessarily um, associated with Dalmechia in the fullest. Like, it's obviously in the region, but they're kind of like their own, like, thing. Uh, right. They uh, are a very big, uh, like, trade and merchant city. That's um, how they make most of their money and get most of their supplies on trading, like, everybody in the Twins. Um, mm -hmm. but they don't have any significant, like, power. Like, they don't have, like, a dominant or, you know, any... Drake's Fang isn't yeah. under their control. That's under, like, Damaki as a whole. Um, so they're kind of okay. their own little, like, city-state sort of thing. Cool. Up to y'all what the plan is. Uh, I say we get ready and we prepare to leave... Or the free city of Canver, and uh, who's who's uh, Sage Spire is is around. 
And then do it be remember? Uh, oh, like who? Who's was like glowing more when we looking who's, at the map? Who's yeah? Who's super buff? Are we getting down here? Uh, that would I be uh, Amaranth, I believe. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We're ninja going buff? to Japan. Buff the ninja. Buff the ninja. We're going to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's. That sounds certain. like a good move. I'm double check the notes, but I'm fairly certain that's. Uh, it's on my character sheet too. That's what you had said. Okay, there you go. In. Yeah, he's got it. So yeah. He got it at uh. We're going to Japan. I'll make you a sage tower is what I threw on there. We're going to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it'd be Amaranth. Crossover episode. So for for, for the what? Assassin's Creed. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's and Creed. Okay, Gund sure. Gundam and Gundam. And Gundam. Cut. Why? Why out of nowhere? Because <laughs> yeah. like, we're going to Japan. Well, it's like samurai. Mm. And like, I don't know. No, I get it. I get it. Also, Kwande, I'll just will remind you again that the um, the visions you've been having are sort of pulling you to go to um, yes. Ash as well. Yeah. Just as a point. I don't know if you've even shared that with anybody, but I figured I would bring it up for you again, just in case. You, uh, is it? Because you will forget. Is it well that and it's you're finding your long lost love? I mean, yeah, I'm still grieving, so I don't really care. Yeah, yeah I just this figured it out there. <laughs> what if this is a new love? Yeah. What's stronger? Than oh, you think the visions are about like a new girl? That's what I'm. That's hey, I'm not. I'm not saying I know. I've, I've wrapped Colondale's entire storyline around a woman. But and I guess, <laughs> oh, I one could feeling. assume. One could assume since they're like dark visions, it's a goth girl. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, why, yeah. Yeah. and, and Guys, why else? Yeah. Why else would you receive <laughs> visions like, yeah, only yeah. after you had lost your love? Guys, why else would you start think, receiving I visions? Need to go to ass. Right. <laughs> Think about this. I think you were. I think you were deluded. Jill wasn't the one for you. I think it's this new love. That's a, but I don't. I don't know though. I mean, you know, it's not. It's not up to me. Guys, I have visions of a goth girl waiting an ass for me. Nice. I don't think that's exactly what you're thinking of. But all right. How do you know? You're oh. not in my head. Oh, that's you exactly what, what we're both thinking of. You're both crazy. Hey, I'm thinking about goth girl ass all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> in in and in. out of the campaign. In and out yeah. of the campaign. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Simply goth just because, but that's only because you're locked in about this campaign. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? Like, who could she be? I'm, I'm talking about my love for goth girl ass. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A perfectly yeah. normal thing to be discussing right now. Yeah. <laughs> can I uh, can I search for my brother Duan Dale Kingle? <laughs> that, did you write that in your backstory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I just remembered he exists. <laughs> well, wow, that's how convenient for you, huh? Right, he's living with his brother. <laughs> oh, that would be, that would be the twist. <laughs> oh, man. Remember, remember, I have that, that, that second cousin that I wrote in my backstory. <laughs> if he's allowed to write his brother into his backstory. <laughs> Maybe I'll meet him somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe he is the goth girl. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's you. He's been you all along. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're you the don't know. <laughs> this is, this we don't know. So you're telling me I'm Quandale Dingle and Dewandale Kingle? <laughs> uh, Maybe. Yeah, you're twin in the womb. <laughs> God. Uh... Maybe maybe Dewandale Kingle is like the wolf inside of me, you know? Ooh. Mm, like yeah. The, like, uh, like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> kind of like energy. Like don't let out Dwan Dwan Dow. We only, we only want <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I think, well, I think it's a good place to stop for today. Stop for today. All right. Yeah, I think it's a good. I mean, you guys are in a safe place. Yeah. I think it's a good. Dwan Dow. As you guys One prepare day, for your I new adventure you're... into uh, Dalmachia, or maybe Ash, I don't know. I guess we'll Ooh. see. <laughs> We're gonna yeah, get we'll, deep we'll inside Ash. Find out next time. Yeah, I guess you have you have some time to think about it. Not that anybody will think about it outside of today, but whatever. I'm yeah. gonna think about oh, oh, girl Ash. On, I will definitely <laughs> think about Ash. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on, <laughs> Alright. before I good, good session, guys. A little bit slower of a session. More plot stuff. That's okay. That's okay. We gotta have some some filler episodes, you know. So I'm saying it's uh, necessary to move the plot along. Yeah, we gotta move the plot a little gotcha. bit. Boom. There she is. God. Oh my Ow. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking response. get ready for your next vision. <laughs> oh, you... oh, shit. He's going to wake all of them up with his vision. Can you do one with the, the horse stuff? Can you do one with the horse head stuff? I'm going to have to, have, to have a private call with Grim. No, yeah. okay. <laughs> I feel like I'd have to add the pictures so that way everyone knows. You have to. Oh, oh my yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta add try, that. Try and let them out. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna post like the whole thing, you gotta add all the pictures. Because then <laughs> we're gonna get to the point where we're like, hey, bottom middle. What's both bottom middle? And nobody's gonna know we're talking about a horse. <laughs> well, now they'll know. <laughs> they'll know about. But it's like, <laughs> like, what like how do you about? get that out of the iterations? Like, how do you get a horse? Oh my god! What if what if my next girl is actually just like a horse, and I'm just like <laughs> psycho, and I imagine her as this beautiful goth girl? That's fair. You just actually lose your mind. <laughs> Oh my god. No, Kwande, let the horse stop! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> I'm like, what? It's just a goth girl. KCB. It was not a goth girl. <laughs> Hold on. I might be able to do this. Oh, oh no. Gosh. Don't do it. I don't, don't please. <laughs> goth horse? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just for, really just for a point, there's that. been no person in your visions yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> nobody exists. This is purely your fantasy world that you're living in. <laughs> we can edit that part out, don't worry. This will be like an after credits, like you've decided to hang out. <laughs> yeah. Here's, past, here's the the end, past the end of the show. Yeah. This, you is, can, I, uh... yeah, this is what happens. Oh, show recap. Yeah, but he's like doing it on his own time. It's like ruining the. <laughs> like we're starting to get like complaints. <laughs> <laughs> why is half the video the yeah. end of? The rec- <laughs> They're like, why is he keep making up? Why is Greg making up video on his own Instagram? Yeah, it's going to be like uh, where people comment on it and be like, "Yeah, I think that Grim guy is like." <laughs> So. I'm, I'm fucking hinged. <laughs> you're like, you're like, wow! I can't, I can't believe like he, he caught, he, he had that vision of the goth girl, and Druid's like, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, I... He's like, what? Yeah. So we have to have like conversation with him. taking the. Uh, there. Yeah, fuck Jill. <laughs> That's a new, oh, That's a new girl. <laughs> That's a new girl. Her one session, he's like, "All right, I guess. Jill could never." I didn't know this was an option. 
<laughs> that was my sister. Nobody literally said it was. You <laughs> just, everybody said it was. That thing. Everybody <laughs> said it was. We, we made it canon. I don't know what how, you're on. It is a canon event. You made it canon in your mind. <laughs> Remember, uh, I I control everything. I can just tell uh, you no, and then it's gone forever. Yeah, like you did with Jill, huh? Yep, exactly <laughs> like I did with Jill. Fuck. That means she's real, Damn. guys. Damn. That means she's real. <laughs> she's really gonna die. Is what's gonna happen? Okay. Every girl I meet from now on is just gonna remember. Die. We already it's found right. the necromancer That's... girlfriend. She can bring okay. her back. It's like a dark version of like Brock's adventure. He like falls in love with like every girl he sees, but now they just die. Yeah, that's that's Quandale's whole story is he falls in love with these women and then they just end up dying every time. Right. That's his whole plot. <laughs> women that he's building. never met though. Like, just, like I've seen that's him. the best part. If the main bad guy is female, we just. Grip, fall in love with her. <laughs> yeah. Wandale, fall in love with her real quick. <laughs> yeah, her her up. Give, it, give her a couple days. She's going to keel over. We win. <laughs> Man, my life's a tragedy. <laughs> my life's a tragedy. Let's use that. <laughs> Same. It's gonna it be tragic. Sound. We might as well use it to our advantage. It so. <laughs>